What is up everyone? I'm Jack Slater, aka the Comic Outlaw. Check us out on YouTube. Maybe subscribe, drop us a like, that'd be nice. But anyways, we're doing Fantastic Four issue 21 and the Hate Monger. And guess who's starring in this? Sergeant Fury. Not quite leader of SHIELD yet, but still coming out of that early um, Howling Commandos phase. Now this is the Hate Monger. And according to the comic book, it's supposed to be a Fantastic Four classic. I'm going to be honest with you. I never heard of this until I started reading this. And just, wow. But anyways, we're off. And uh, Reed's doing his own thing in the lab. The Human Torch is uh, kind of throwing darts. Wishing, you know, that he was throwing them at Spider-Man. Uh, Sue Storm, for some reason, is trying out different wigs. I guess she likes different hair colors. I don't know. But anyways, it's a bam. And a thing is basically punching this uh, steel punching bag. And it's basically knocking it through the roof and it's shaking the entire building. Now, uh, they get the newspaper and they find out the hate monger is causing riots throughout the city. And this guy is speaking the, basically the same old racist rhetoric. You know, get rid of the foreigners, get rid of all color. We need to preserve this and that. And of course, Ben Grimm kind of dispatches the soldiers pretty quickly, and the rest of the Fantastic Four are getting ready to jump in. And the Hate Monger fires this weird yellow beam. And uh, this beam makes you hate. It makes you hate your friends, your comrades, everything. And all of a sudden, of course, Thing takes a swing at Mr. Fantastic, and they start going at it. And uh, this is sort of odd, I guess. The Human Torch is about to flame on and she douses his hands. I guess back in the day he had to fire up his hands first. But anyways, Thing and Reed are in the middle of it. And it's interesting strength versus rubber. And uh, this time, Thing is kind of coming out on top. Beating the hell out of both of them. And they kind of just all pretzel and roll out of the way. And this is where they decide the Fantastic Four ought to go their separate ways. And of course, Sue being hit with a ray, but didn't really join in the fight. Things kind of the same way. They're a bunch of losers. I'm leaving. And of course, good old Sergeant Fury shows up and dispatches Reed Richard security. And I guess him and Reed have known each other for a long time. I guess they worked in military intelligence together. Um, of course, Nick Fury is a little bit older. Being with the Halley Commandos, that was back in Captain America's time during the Invaders. Um, Nick's kind of had a rough turn of it lately and he's come to see Reed and he's also looking for the hate monger and he fears that Reed might already be under the effects of it and of course Ben is with Allison and if he's having issues you know he has to crush Reed he has to beat Reed and the other guys are just basically just being hateful <laughs> And I love this, they see, like, she sees a little plane and uh, she realizes that might be Fury's plane. She just takes off with the dress, just doesn't care. And of course the Fantastic Four meets up and uh, Nick Fury's there and he can tell, he can tell they're under the effects of the hate monger. And of course he explains his diabolical plan to actually hit everybody with a ray at the same time. Causing hatred and distrust in the land. And not only that, he's also going to put it, a, not a bomb, but sort of a canister that's going to leak this gas and spread it out everywhere, just to be sure. Now the hate monger is ready, he has his troops set, they're getting out their bombs. And I love this, Reed Richards just stretches his hand out there and one little stick of dynamite and boom, that is just awesome. Uh, Reed Richards grabs two missiles from the, the jet and it just proves that uh, Reed's powers are extremely useful. And, and look at this, he just dispatches all the guards and right now he even says it's child's play. He goes to the device and he feels for the power source. He sticks his hand into the ground and stretches downward to feel the power source, which is very interesting, very cool. And of course he's on his way, you know, and he gets hit by the gas and becomes under the hate monger spell. So Reed is of course working for him and Reed, his brain is still on, but his body's not functioning. So he's kind of figuring out the rest of the plan here as uh, Nick Fury comes blasting in. 
basically killing most of his guards, and he forces the hate monger to give Reed the antidote. And of course, Fury kind of seals them in. But uh, right before he shoots him, hate monger throws up a shield and escapes. Of course, Reed and Fury are looking for him, but they have to cure the other members of the Fantastic Four first. So the first person they kind of hunt down is uh, Johnny Storm. And right when he's about to flame back on, they kind of hit him with the antidote. Of course, they go after Ben next, get the pill down his throat. They have to kind of catch the invisible woman. I guess it's kind of hard to find that invisible lips, but I guess they get the pill down that way anyways, too. With the Fantastic Four cured and ready to go, they dispatch the rest of the guards. And right when the hate monger is about to fire off his laser beam again, Sue kind of stops him. They capture him. Of course, he's just a flesh and blood man. And we're going to find out who's under the hood of the hate monger, who he really is. And it ends up being Adolf Hitler. Yes, Hitler escaped. And he is caught down and will be sent to prison by Nick Fury himself. And that was the hate monger, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will catch you on the flip side.